15 weeks. It has been 15 weeks since I had my dental implant procedure. Hello, my name is Jane and I am 15 weeks post-op from a dental implant procedure on that day, October 19th, 2021. I did have uh, 24 extractions done that day. Uh, five implants placed on my lower arch, uh, five on the upper. I also had extensive bone grafting done, uh, a large hole in my sinus cavity that was packed um, with the bone grafting. And uh, that day I had my lower temporary arch placed. And unfortunately I woke up from seven and a half long, seven and a half hour long surgery. And I did have a denture on the top. Uh, my bones were not solid enough to be able to place the uh, temporary arch on that day. I had to heal. So I came home with a um, denture for the upper. I didn't know that until the following day when my husband actually told me. Um, I didn't even realize it after surgery. So all I knew is that there was something in my mouth, but I couldn't really determine what it was. Uh, it was a very long surgery, very hard on me physically. So it took um, it took a while for me to heal and get uh, back on my feet. You can review some of those older videos if you want to, but um, it was a rough time. So here we are, we're 15 weeks uh, post-op from that day. And I had another procedure done on January 20th, 2022. And on that day, they went in to explore the uh, implants and see if they were solid enough to place the implants, uh, the upper implant or the upper arch. Um, so he, my dentist opened me up and found the uh, location of the implants. However, apparently my bone is pretty strong. So what I lack in density, I more than make up for in strength because um, he had a very difficult time uh, putting the abutment in. Uh, unfortunately, the bone had already grown around the implant, and so he had to chip all of that bone away before he could place the abutment. So that was really extensive. Um, so I had five on the upper, so we did it five times over, and it was not nice. <laughs> Uh, it was not nice for me and it was not nice for him and his assistant either because it was it was tough it was just really really hard um my body i have found um that i metabolize medication very very quickly so um as much as he was giving me the meds putting them in um i was just eating them up. So my body was just using that medication so quickly. He couldn't keep me um, in a good place as far as um, keeping me numb and where I was not feeling it. So uh, I also found that my body is really highly sensitive to the epine epinephrine, I believe it's called, not sure, um, but whatever is in that uh, medication. So, um, what happens is they give me a shot or two, whatever. Uh, they inject it and almost immediately my heart rate uh, skyrockets and I start shaking uncontrollably. Uh, that lasts for about two minutes and then I calm down, my body calms down, my heart rate comes down again and I'm fine. Uh, however, each and every time they inject anything, my body has the same reaction. So not only am I highly sensitive to it, but my body metabolizes it very, very quickly. Um, so about halfway through the procedure, he finally decided that I needed to stop, that we needed to stop, have a break, and he wanted me to go ahead and try and drink an Ensure protein drink to try and get something in my stomach, hopefully, that my body would then start working on that and metabolizing that instead of the medication. So here we are. Um, so that's what we did and we got through it and here I am today and I am happy to report that I have both my upper and lower arch placed and I am so excited about it. You can see, I think it looks great. I'm, I'm just so happy. Um, so I came home with my denture, however, 
I came home with my denture in my hand, right? Um, so I don't need this anymore. And that is super exciting for me. Unfortunately though, I can't make those fun videos where I uh, pop it out of my mouth and do weird things. Uh, those seem to be very popular. I got a lot of views on those, but um, I won't be able to do that. And I'm super thankful for that. So uh, I am on soft foods again. I do still have a lot of stitches in my mouth, um, but my speech is so much better and that will improve once my permanents get placed, of course. Uh, I won't have that little ledge in there, um, but I couldn't, be, uh, I couldn't be more happy. I know um, I got accustomed to eating with that denture in my mouth, so um, now it's kind of uh, like relearning again how to uh, navigate with these. I still have a lot of pain actually, and I still have my stitches in my mouth. So if, maybe I've said it before, but I can tell you that um, pain is really hard for me. And if they say that it will take five weeks to heal from something, you can plan on it that it's gonna take me 10 weeks. Um, if they say that the stitches should dissolve on their own in five days, just know that it'll be 10 or 15 days before they dissolve for me. Um, that's how I've always been. And uh, it's how I've been through this whole process as well. Here I am just popping in and interjecting. Um, I am going to insert here a couple of clips that I took on that day and some photos. Okay, I am here at the dentist. It is seven o'clock in the morning. So um, sorry for the quality of the video, but going in to see if I am done with this denture today. So um, I have some anxiety. I'm a little bit scared of the process, but I'm looking forward to the outcome. Thanks. Okay, so I made it back home. I did get the temporary arch placed today and got rid of the dentures, so that's great news. However, it was pretty rough um, finding those implants again. Um, you can see that my face is quite swollen as well, so I will update again at a later time, but very excited. So, hey. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. I appreciate it. I have added my um, email address in my um, uh, profile. So you can uh, reach me there if you have any questions or want to contact me. I um, watched some videos this morning and these girls are brand new to YouTube and they already had like 350 or 400 subscribers. And I was like, how the heck are they doing this? I, I need to figure it out. So still working on that but i'll have another video to come soon and um just hey just know that it is all worth it it really is it is all worth it um, i know if you're just starting it's so scary and it seems like it's going to be forever and you think that you're never going to get um to the destination but i promise you you will and i encourage you to keep pushing um, if you don't have the money, keep pushing. Try and figure it out. Do everything you can. Don't let up. Try, uh, just be creative with it. Do whatever you have to do because it is so worth it. You'll be so happy when you have a beautiful smile. Um, it'll do so much for the rest of your life. So again, I just encourage you today to um, keep going. Know that... Um, it is possible. I I will end up with a beautiful set of zirconians. Um, I paid forty five thousand dollars cash, and uh, that was hard. It was really hard, and I got to pay that money back. Um, I got to pay that money back to my to myself, actually my husband. So um, just know that it's possible. Have a great day.